Well, he stands accused of a horrific crime, killing a family of three while driving drunk, then running from the scene. But tonight, a 22-year-old man is behind bars, charged in all three deaths. Yeah, the crash earlier this month killed a Clearwater veteran, his wife, and their 18-year-old son as the family delivered newspapers. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us now with more on this story. Christine. We're at the Bay Pines National Cemetery, where the family of three will be buried this Thursday. This is Tanner. He has an extensive criminal history. We're learning that this is his 12th run-in with the law in six years. He had manners. He was responsible, always early to work. He was dedicated to working out. Douglas Wilson says he worked with a 22-year-old, Tanner Hackman, doing landscape work. Wilson says he tried to mentor Hackman and said he encouraged him to get away from alcohol and partying. I just still didn't believe it. And I still don't, I'm still in like a denial about it because it was so close to home. But Hackman may not have taken that warning seriously. Florida Highway Patrol troopers arrested Hackman Friday night. They say he caused a deadly DUI accident on February 1st that left a Clearwater family of three dead. Bruce and Lisa Johnson were killed along with their 18-year-old son, Glenworth. The Johnsons were delivering papers when it happened. Investigators say Hackman and his passenger ran from the scene. Troopers are still searching for the passenger. Hackman is charged with vehicular homicide and leaving the scene of a crash involving a death. Tonight, the 22-year-old remains at the Pinellas County Jail. I'm going to go visit him or write him a letter, and you know, because I know the kid, and he, he didn't mean to do it. He didn't set out to go do that. Hackman is due back in court on Wednesday. As for the family of three that was killed, they'll be laid to rest on Thursday. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we have details from Hackman's life mentor about how he was just starting to get his life together. Live in Pinellas County, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.